Hello everyone and welcome back to Average Nerd Talks. Now I got a lot of comments from you guys saying uh, some of your favorite apps don't work on Linux and that Linux is terrible for gaming. Well, uh, Linux is not exactly for everyone just yet. I think there's some uh, time that it's going to need to get to that point. There are some tools and apps that require Windows and don't work correctly or at all on Linux and I've seen that happen. So in this video, I'm going to talk about six reasons why you might want to stick to Windows and not switch to Linux just yet. One of the hot topics these days is that um, if you're using a computer for gaming, Linux is not the right OS for you. And um, I'm going to say that Linux is not exactly the best for gaming, but it's more the uncertainty with gaming that is the reason why people are usually not very happy with Linux. So when I say gaming uncertainty, I mean um, games which currently run on Linux may just break later and there's no guarantee that a game will run on Linux and if it's running now that it's gonna continue running for the rest of its lifetime. Um, for example, GTA 5 that was previously supported now doesn't run due to an anti-cheat requirement. I believe this is only for the online component, but even so, if you were playing GTA online on a Linux computer, you can't do that anymore. League of Legends, which previously ran perfectly fine on Linux, doesn't now because they decided to use their Vanguard anti-cheat with it. Uh, recently, Linux support for Apex Legends was also pulled, citing, again, rise in cheaters and the addition of an anti-cheat requirement. Roblox also used to run perfectly fine on Linux previously, doesn't run anymore. Now, there are plenty of games out there like Valorant, Fortnite, Rainbow Six Siege, PUBG, none of which actually work on Linux and none of them ever worked on Linux. I believe Fortnite at some point did, but then, you know, anti-cheat going back and forth. Essentially, anti-cheat is what's spoiling gaming on Linux for everyone. Um, there are a lot of games such as Dota 2, CS2, uh, that have working anti-cheat in Linux. And I mean, yeah, you could argue that CS2 has a lot of cheaters, but hey, it works on Linux. So if you want to check if your online multiplayer game actually works on Linux, there's a website called rweantycheatyet.com. Um, I'll put a link down in the description below. Um, just go to that website, type in the name of your game, and it should show you whether the game is actually ported on Linux or whether it's actually working. Another re reason I hear is uh, Adobe software support. So the Adobe software suite does not support Linux and is very difficult to get running in the VM. Recent versions of Photoshop, um, Premiere Pro, Lightroom, and all of those, they don't work on Linux. And I don't think Adobe has any um, intention of supporting Linux users anytime in the future. I hope that changes. Another reason you might not want to switch to Linux is if you are reliant on Microsoft Office 365 or Microsoft Teams for your workplace. Now, unless you're okay with using Office 2013, it's kind of old at this point. Um, Office 365, the native applications don't run reliably on Linux. Now there have been some attempts to get it running, but none are easy or as performant as you know it is on Windows. Now you can use the MS Office uh, web apps, and if that actually works for you, then you can use it in any browser. Doesn't matter what operating system you're using but it does miss out on a lot of features which if you are reliant on might be difficult for you. The same goes for Microsoft Teams. So yeah, if you are reliant on Microsoft Office or Microsoft 365 tools for your work, then sticking to Windows might be the best option for you. Now Xbox Game Pass is a fantastic deal in uh, gaming right now where you can get access to a huge library of games for a very low price, for a very low subscription, kind of like the Netflix for gaming. However, Game Pass cannot and probably will never run on Linux natively. So the Game Pass app um, on PCs uses the Universal Windows platform, which was designed to develop universal applications. However, uh, UWP or Universal Windows platform apps are not supported by Wine, Proton, or any version of Windows that is older than 10. Oh, the irony. So if you have Game Pass Ultimate, then uh, you can actually use xCloud, so like the Xbox Cloud, 
to play your games uh, using any kind of web browser or even your smartphone if you really want to do that. Or you're gonna have to stick to Windows 10 or above, or maybe just use an Xbox or something to game. I don't know, but you can't use Linux. Now, if you're using Visual Studio, not Visual Studio Code, then Linux might not be the best option for you. Now, I know a lot of developers that target Windows users develop their apps exclusively in Visual Studio. Now, Visual Studio is a great IDE and it's very developer friendly, especially on Windows environments. Um, but it doesn't really work that well on Linux because you're going to need some kind of compatibility layer to actually get it to run. Now, there are plenty of great alternatives for Linux, but some companies and workplaces, they target uh, Windows exclusively, in which case using Linux for development doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, of course, you can use a Linux host system and use a Windows virtual machine again to get all of your development done. But again, that's not gonna be as performant as just having a Windows installation and Visual Studio running on Windows itself. Now, another complaint that I've heard often is uh, unsupported hardware. Now, there is a lot of hardware out there that is either difficult or downright impossible to run on Linux. Some VR headsets, uh, biometric hardware and some peripherals are unsupported on Linux. VR especially is very difficult to run on Linux, even with tools like ALVR. Now, I personally own a MetaQuest 3, and although it does run on Linux with ALVR, I've had a lot of success with that. But the performance leaves a lot to be desired, and virtual desktop on Windows just works way better if you're trying to use it to play games on Steam, like Steam VR and stuff. It's just way better. I'm pretty sure Linux will get there someday, but it's not there yet. Now, I'm probably making you think that things are bleak for Linux and it's not a great operating system, but that's not really the case. Now, the good news for Linux gaming is that Valve is now working very closely with the Arch team, the Arch development team, to make gaming more accessible on Linux. Linux market share is also growing steadily and hopefully more developers and hardware manufacturers will start officially supporting it going forward from here. Meanwhile, there's nothing wrong in using whatever tool or OS that you need to get your work done. It's also totally valid to use something despite disliking it because it works for what you need it to do, right? And personally, I use both Windows and Linux for different use cases, but that's a topic for another video. So what reasons do you have for sticking to Windows? Do you want to switch to Linux? And is there something that's holding you back? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you everyone for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned and stay safe.